Ukraine war briefing, Zelensky's army of drones gets its own commander. Ukrainians claim hits on air defenses in occupied Crimea. Us, Poland and allies launch task force to counter Russian disinformation, what we know on day 839. Ukraine announced the appointment of Vadim Sukarevsky as commander of drone forces, a newly created post. Sukarevsky was already a deputy commander of the armed forces with responsibility for drones. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, decreed in February the creation of a separate branch of the armed forces devoted to drones and the order was endorsed last week by the government. Ukraine's military said it damaged three surface-to-air defense systems in Russian-occupied Crimea over Monday night. Missiles struck an S-400 system in Jankoy and two S-300 systems near Yepatoria and Kornomorsky, resulting in significant losses for Russian air defenses, Ukraine's general staff said. The Ukrainians claimed responsibility for an attack on the Novoshoktinsk refinery in southern Russia on 5 June. According to intelligence reports, as a result of the strike, the invaders lost 1.5-meter metric tons of oil and petroleum products, which amounts to about 5.4 OM, said a statement issued by the Ukrainian military's general staff. The Rostov governor, Vasily Golyabev, told Interfax news agency that operations at Novoshoktinsk suffered significant disruptions after a fire following a drone attack. Ukraine may keep some of the F-16 fighter jets it is set to receive from its western allies at foreign bases to protect them from Russian strikes, said Seri Holubsov, head of aviation within Ukraine's air force. The US and Poland on Monday launched a multinational group based in Warsaw to counter Russian disinformation on the war in Ukraine. James Rubin, a special envoy, said the Ukraine communications group would involve around a dozen Western representatives working to promote accurate reporting of Russia's full-scale invasion, amplify Ukrainian voices, and expose Kremlin information manipulation. Nearly 90 countries and organizations, half from Europe, have confirmed attending the Swiss-hosted Ukraine peace summit over the weekend, despite Russia's refusal to participate in the conference, Switzerland's president said. Viola Amherd told reporters in the Swiss capital that the summit, on Saturday and Sunday, will aim to chart a path toward possible peace nearly 28 months after Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Zelensky arrived in Germany for a conference on Ukraine's post-war recovery and talks with the German Chancellor, Olaf Scholz. Zelensky said measures concerning Ukraine's energy sector, damaged by Russian air attacks, would be the priority, as well as continued military support, including air defenses and joint manufacture of munitions, and the coordination of positions ahead of the peace summit to be hosted by Switzerland later in the week.